Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will learn how you can install Google TV on your Windows 11 PC. Uh, we will be using this Google TV in Windows 11. We are not going to make it a dual boot uh, computer, but uh, you can have it in your operating system itself, like as an application. So in order to do that, you will have to open your browser. I will open Google Chrome and download Android Studio. I will give you guys the link in the description box. Simply go to that website. And on the very first page itself, you will get the link to download Android Studio. Click on that, scroll to bottom, and there will be option to check. I have read and agree with the about terms and conditions. Just click on download Android Studio after putting a check in the box. As soon as you click download, a file will start getting downloaded and you will see the progress if you click that down arrow at the top right corner if you are using google chrome so it will take some time so let's just wait till it completes okay our file has been downloaded now we will just click on it to install it. I will minimize this Chrome window. Click on yes on user account control. Now you will see an installation wizard. Click on next. Click next again. Leave it checked and then click on next again click install it is completed click on next and then click on finish leave the start android studio check so it will uh, start the android studio click on the or leave it like this just click on ok here it is asking if you want to send notification to google or not i will just click on don't send Okay, so now we are on Android Studio Setup Wizard. Click on Next. Leave it on Standard and then click on Next. It is asking to check the component you want to update or install. Just simply click Next on this screen also. Once again, just click Next. And please accept the license and agreement. So there will be two license uh, you will have to accept first will be this you have already clicked on accept now click this icon i mean click on the second link that is android sdk arm and click accept and then click on finish now it will take some time to download so let's wait and let it complete Okay, so the downloading component has been completed. You can click on finish now. And just wait. So we have uh, the welcome to Android Studio screen. And here on the screen, we'll click on more actions and click on SDK manager. 
So Android 14 will be by default installed. The second one we will have to select is Android upside down K3 privacy sandbox tree view. And click on OK. So it will uh, ask you to confirm. Click OK again and it will be downloaded. Click on finish once it is done. Now click on more actions again and this time click on virtual device manager. Either click on this create virtual device or click the plus sign that is at the top left corner. Select TV from category at the left hand side. Select the resolution so we'll select sanity pixel and click next. On the next screen, you need to select a system. So click on X86 images and click on this download button. So you will get another window and SDK component installer will uh, download few more things. So let it complete. Okay, we are done here. We can click on finish. Now click next. You can change the name of your TV here, but I will leave it like that only. And here you can change the graphic to hardware and uncheck this option enable device frame. Click on show advanced settings and select cold boot. Uh, give it a RAM. I'll just increase it to 4 GB. Now we'll increase this to 10 GB. Now click finish. So our Android TV is, uh, our Google TV is created. Click on start. may take some time but it will start okay we are getting a message uh, let's ignore it for the time being just click ok okay our google tv is starting okay now you can add an account that would be your google account so I'll add an account. Okay, I'm logged into my account. Okay, now you can download 
So the apps which can be downloaded in a smart TV and you can watch movies and just ex maximize it according to your screen. Okay, well, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. And thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again. You have a great day. Bye-bye.